is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Atletico Madrid appear to be going with a 3-5-2 formation, Jim. Well, I can tell you, Peter, that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing-back, you get more freedom to go forward. As an orthodox full-back, you had to be more selective in the runs you made. The back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two. And that's why I liked it, because I didn't have to get back that much. we go then Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference um, Pepe may well need to be at his best there's a power about his game thanks to very decent pace for a big man and he doesn't lose out much in the air either he could prove to be a very reliable presence here yeah the scourge of so many strikers Oliveira needed to come up with a better ball the movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Octavio. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Llorente. And here's Greece. Griezmann! And the ball's come out. Cleared without complication. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think. It's Carrasco! Goal! Atletico Madrid! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Atletico Madrid have an early lead. Good start. Octavio. Quintel. Correa tries to get it forward quickly. Deftly done. It's a promising ball. Luis Suarez. Tries a shot! And it's played forward. Now it's Luis Suarez, Marcano with a fine tackle. Away from immediate danger. Just brushed off the ball there. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. It's a 
very good battle there, terrific to watch. Looks to clip it full, goes for goal! Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Llorente goes looking. In the end, they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go. Keeper's got good distance on that. Corona. Diaz gets it, and now what? He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Llorente. And here's Suarez. Now it's Corona. And it's Griezmann. Llorente. And here's Correa. Correa. This could fall anywhere. Shapes the shoot! Oh, another save. And there's the end of the first half. There we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. There has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Atletico Madrid leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1 0 at the break. And we are already promptly back underway. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Savage is there and he can get that clear. Koke. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Out to the left it goes. Hoists it forward. Otavio. He's off, just the keeper to beat! Chance, real chance! They've scored! Porto are level! And that really is so, so impressive. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Pereira Carrasco. Coque. Carrasco. And here's Coque. Oh, good take in a good area. Suarez is flagged offside. Van Marcano, just about up to the hour now. Ivan Marcano, Otavio. Oh, some tackle that. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Llorente is effectively being marked out of the game here. 
Look, stopping him is imperative. It may not eliminate trouble, but it'll reduce it. Carrasco plays it backwards, and they'll... Has a hit! A whisker high. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. So here comes a substitution. Plays it out to the flank. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Goes down, but nothing given. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Luis Suarez. And here's Griezmann. He's had a he's had a shot. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. So we have a double substitution going on here. Chooses to go back. In by Chipia. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Keeper's ball. Mateus. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Just five minutes left. Atletico Madrid have to get it into the box and quickly. Forward it goes. Felipe. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. Van Marcano. Now it's Corona. Corona. Shot a goal! No, not this time. Atletico Madrid can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Now it's Corona. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? That's a good ball. Big chance! Oh, brilliant from Diaz. Late in the day, this could well be it. A moment that needed composure, and he had plenty of it. I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by feigning to move one way and then readjusting back. Controlled trickery. Porto complete their cup. And the referee brings it to a close. Atletico Madrid are stunned. They controlled it, they led, but somehow they lost. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, they were posed with problems in wide areas 